Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Manfriend Tutorials. Today in this video, I would like to show you about the mainframe interview tips that you need to have or that I have came across while working and thought of just sharing with you all. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and start with the few basic questions that may ask when you face an interview. This is mainly apart from technical so there are certain basic things that we need to understand about our projects or about our the coding whatever we do in our in our like real time so there might be a some person who might have started their careers uh, and they have been continuously working from pro uh, three to five years in the same company if they want to switch from one company to another company so apart from technical knowledge they would need to have some other extra knowledge so in order to overcome and in order to overcome the situations a lot of putting some questions so below would be the important question that may that you may come across while you face an interview so the first one would be like how many programs are there in the project obviously the ma you i mean uh, it would be like 2500 to 3000 or it might depend so this would be the average so what is your role and responsibility actually your career would start like as a team member and the senior team member or a module leader or a technical leader what do the team member do it's a his duty and responsibility is coding and analyzing what do a team leader do assigning a task status task solving team problems and personal problems conducting or organizing meeting allocating tasks to team so this will be the responsibility of a team leader what is your notice period that this is the very important question that would be asked when you're you you face an interview normally uh, how soon you can join in our company they ask like 15 days to one month and it, it, it totally depends on your company notice period for company some companies they they have a 15 days from one month two months or a maximum of three months it depends on the company you are working so you can say you have to it's better to say an uh, exact duration you are going to join if your company is giving you a one month then say exactly a one month okay do a specific to this why because whatever the uh, company you are going to join they have some formalities uh, they need to do some setup on their on their end so in order to go a process in a smooth way so you should be giving an accurate answer to this question okay how the work will be downloaded so I mean the question is straightforward so how do you start your work so it would be mostly with, with the mails most of them might be using an outlook so where they log in to their systems and check the emails if there are any tasks assigned and what they, they start their job so internet tools with the company the site used site to download Client request management system, there is a quick place, task management system. Yeah, companies, different companies use the different follows. They might be having some portal or a SharePoint where they can access the project, project books and everything and they can download their work and they can see what are the different tasks assigned. Sometimes if there is any task assigned or if there is any project assigned, uh, to your specific person they will be get e-notified through an email or a, a team lead will inform to him so you can straight away pro oh so and so project and then he can look into the different tools what are the project requirements and what need to do and what is the start date what is the end date and what are the effort hours and so and so and so things will be uploaded into the common portal where a developer can see all the details and he can start working his job request management system whom does you report normally if you are a team leader I mean if you are a team member or a senior team member or developer or a senior developer so whatever the designations you have depends upon the depends upon the company normally it will be like developer senior developer technology technology technical 
So anyway, so how do you report? It's like a team member will be reporting a team leader, team leader will report your project leader or a module leader and a module leader will be reporting to your technical leader. I mean, these all are the leaders, uh, cadres, uh, sorry, uh, they would have an individual team members where they directly reports, uh, sorry, the team leader never reports to a project leader, I don't think so, yeah. So these are the different uh, leader positions. So where they will be having individual teams and they would report in this way. Developers, a project, a module and technical leader. Client, on-site coordinator, offshore coordinator, team leaders. What is your team size? Uh, it depends, it depends. It really depends on the company. So, but the minimum would be like five and five to 20 or maximum you can have a 40 or 50 members. So normally and on the average or my guess is like main range up to 5 to 20. So tell about the client you might ask. It's, a, it's also a very very good question. Number of the people in the company. Is it a 10 million dollar company? Or uh, location of the company? If it is a health domain, financial domain, banking domain or an insurance domain. So you have to give a uh, specifically what domain you are working. Uh, testing attending status meetings so so these are the various uh, important points you need to mention whenever you tell about the client if the interviewer ask you tell about your client so what is the name of the work type of project development developing a th the system from scratch which does not exist currently so do you have different types of projects one is development enhancements moderate maintenance so it is divided into different different categories the first ones would start with the development what is development developing the system from scratch which does not exist currently enhancing enhancing the system functionality or providing more future with the existing system maintenance solving the problem in existing system or functionality support if problem takes less than eight hours, it is so it is to support more than eight hours. It's a maintenance. Production support, supporting to live environment. If we solve problems in live environment, it is called production support. Suggestion, development program and individual and involved in maintenance. So these are the various kinds of work we have, or uh, different kinds of types of projects which we would, be, we would be coming across and we might know, we may not know while we be busy with working only in the development or only in the enhancement or only in the maintenance or only in the production support. But we need to know all these things when you attend for an interview. So just to recap, what are the different types of projects we can have? It might be a development, it might be an enhancement, it might be a maintenance, it might be a support, it might be a production support, or it might be a suggestion. Development program and involved in mention, report layout. What is your section ID? So it would be an 8 byte character, I mean section ID for the real time. So what is reporting structure? Normally the reporting structure starts with the team member, team leader, module leader, project leader, tech leader architecture, project manager or delivery, delivery manager. How big are your project? Tell the number of programs that are used in your project. Tell that number of tables 200 to 400. Tell the number of files 1000 to 1500 files. For PL1 say just files only. What is the average line of code in the project? So normally the code would be like 1500 to 2000 or it might be money. So normally the minimum is like 1500, sometimes it would have less than 1500, but on average it should be like 1500 to 2000. So where do you start your work as the team member? Definitely, definitely if you want to start a career in a mainframe or any other technologies, your career will start as a team member or a developer. If you are if you're working in a development, if you should be a like team member or a developer, if you're a support member, or it might be a maintenance and anything so but it should start with the team member senior team member lead technology lead, project lead and the project management and everything so what are the problems you faced you might ask a very tricky questions 
in order to identify are you how much you are working in your company and what are the different tasks you have been work so you should be brave here i should be very much prepared while whenever you face this kind of question so you can say like uh, solving data expectations in valid data bad data solving input output operations or file errors resolving space problems for the physical files changing the report problems report formats eliminating duplicate records in the database invalid arithmetic operations or calculations insufficient data and size for record lengths so you can add on you can add on many things what are the problems you face i mean these are the basic things which i came across in the thought of or representing these things here so what is a complex situation you faced yeah this is also a tricky question so you just need to make a note of everything whenever you work you which might you have came across while working on different projects or different programs whatever it is so what is a complex situation you face converting complex business functionality into technical skills this is logic customer says i want to see how many items are missing or there might be an a report problems and there might be an a where an a there might be an a dollar amount that might be missing or that might be missing somewhere in the report layout it is having an invalid number is populating so you have you might have digged a lot of analysis there might be in a lot of programs depending on the on that particular reports if there is a simple change that would impact all the report layout and everything so you might have digged some analysis you can explain them so there were certain different kinds of modules over here so this program was particularly updated by some developer so it might be impacting different 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 uh, programs so we need to make sure that all the programs are updated so if the programs are not updated it caused an issue to that particular report or something so customer says i want to see how many items are missing so now sure he wanted to know what are the items we are identify program start picking programs by program and analyzing it if there is a problems we interact with project leader so how do you test your programs manually cobol display pl1 if it is a pl1 put list what are your recent tasks extracting data from file to table one to many file from multiple files to single report modification record or structure change so these are the various uh, important questions i thought of asking to who were wanted to face an interview or a few who is wanted to switch from one company to another company or who are started as a career as a fresher in the mainstream and uh, want to switch to another company so this would be the basic important question that me he might need before he goes for an interview i hope you all have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching this video if you feel that this information has really been helped please subscribe me on youtube i would be posting more and more videos to share the information to all so if please like on youtube or please subscribe on youtube channel